God bless you today. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. Well, it looks like we made it. We're at the end of the year 2019, and soon to go over into the year 2020. So there are some things that we can do, like start new traditions. Have you ever thought about it's time to clean house? You can start an end of the year tradition. Cleaning out your house, dumping the old ashes from your fireplace, and paying off your outstanding debts. It's about clearing out the old to make room for the new. And from time to time, you must also clean out your spiritual house. Get rid of the things that are unimportant. In other words, get rid of the rubbish. And why? It's simple. Because over time, wrong attitudes, shoddy workmanship, and bad habits creep in and blind us to what's important. I know that you know I'm speaking the truth. Because we all have that problem. We acquire things, and we keep it, and we store it, and we think that we're going to get back to it. But we never do. I remember when I moved from one home to another. I packed what I thought was important in boxes. And after a couple of years, I said to myself, what's in these boxes? I saw writing on them, but I really didn't remember what I put in them. It was a lot of old junk. You know, I didn't need it for a couple of years. So why would I think that I would need it now? So my beloved, we have a lot of that within us. A lot of old things that we need to get rid of. We continue to need a spiritual house cleaning because we live in a dirty, dirty world. Just as our homes, cars, and clothes have to be maintained, our hearts, our spiritual homes, need to be cleaned on a regular basis. We need to let God have his way every day to clean us up and to renew us. Is there a room in your house you haven't allowed him to clean? If it's been a while since God did a thorough heart cleaning, make this your prayer. Lord, clean my heart so you can live and shine through me. My beloved, as we go into the new year, another topic is to seek things that are new. Do you have a dream? If you don't, you can ask God for a dream. The dream that God gave Joseph sustained him through experiences that would crush many of us. He was resented by his family, repeatedly tempted by his boss's wife, then thrown in a prison for 13 years for a crime he never committed. Yet, at his lowest points, God was with him, arranging each step he took and positioning him to fulfill his calling as the deliverer of his people. Your gender, my beloved, does not limit God if you are a male or a female. It's no problem for God. And your age also is not a problem for him. You know, society may glamorize youth and marginalize old age, but your season of life doesn't limit God whatsoever. Know this, your dream cannot be born out of your unmet ego needs or a selfish desire to have the same level of success as someone else or your need to prove something to someone like maybe your ex-wife if you have one or your family, your boss, your friends, your peers, your fellow church members. My beloved, check the source of your dream because when God is the source, he will provide all the resources necessary to fulfill your dream. So, Now, let me ask you again, do you have a dream? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, seek God to make you aware of what he has for you. If not, ask God to give you one. I hope that you have a happy new year and that God blesses you mightily in the year 2020. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. And I want to thank you for listening to all of our programs here over the internet. You can contact us on the web at www.abundantgracechurch.net or www.abundantgraceofmidlothian.com or by email at abundant.grace at att.net. God bless you and have a wonderful 2020.